What's up guys, it's Insidious. I'm uh, just doing a little tutorial on how to make 3D text in Adobe After Effects CC version 2014, version 2014, 2014 release, whatever. Uh, I'm sure there's like 20 or 30 different ways that you can make 3D text in Adobe After Effects, but this is just a quick and easy way that I found to do it. Uh, so I've got a brand new nothing, nothing, a brand new nothing. I'm going to make a composition, new composition, uh, 1920 by 1080, and my background color is black. That's why I like it. Okay, so now I have my composition. I'm going to right click down here and go to new and add text. Uh, so if I type here, Let me just have a brief moment to screw everything up. Okay. Double click on it. Yeah. I'm having problems typing. What about it? <laughs> Insidious Minds sucks at tutorials. Alright. There we go. So, just in case you were thinking of putting that in the comments, it's in the video. So, saved you some time. Alright, so I've got my Insidious Mind sucks at tutorial text. It's not 3D. I want to make it 3D. I also want to make it a little bit bigger. I can right click on it here and get a transform and scale and scale it up a little bit where I can see what I'm doing. So, alright, there we go. Insidious Mind sucks at tutorials. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to make a new layer and I'm going to make it a solid. And I've got the width here 1920 by 1080 most of the time this comes up but just in case you want to make sure that it's the size of the composition whatever size so your composition right here 1920 by 1080 you want it to match if it doesn't match you can just click right here you ain't got to get through all the trouble trying to make everything match the color really doesn't matter because you can change the color here in a little bit so red solid now what I'm going to do this is I'm going to right click on it and well I mean you could do do it like this and go and search for whatever you're looking for or you can just go over here and type in Q and that'll bring up where you can change the colors double click on it hue saturation I double clicked on you oh shit are we having a moment here? there okay make sure this is selected down at the bottom I've been working all day I'm really tired uh, the master hue, you can take it and adjust it to whatever you want. You can change the color. Pube green. Let's go pube green. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I have that. Now, another thing that I'm going to want to do to this is I'm going to add the shatter effect. So, I have my shatter effect. This is basically it right here. Uh, and what that'll do is pretty much it's a wireframe and forces, which this is the wireframe and forces. If I hit play, it should break apart like bricks uh, or it could just freeze up on me. It's whatever it wants to do. I really don't care at this point. Uh, but I'm going to change this right here to wireframe and forces. I'm going to change that to rendered. Uh, now let's try it. Nothing? Oh, I'm going to get a project and do it like that. No? Nothing? So yeah okay nothing whatever then so let me get back here I got my red solid uh, I'm going to change the shape right here where it says bricks which you'll see right here this is the bricks that's the bricks I'm gonna change to custom and it's gonna have a custom shatter map I can change that to Insidious Mind Sex at Tutorials, my text layer right here. I change it to that and it applies it to that. Now what I can do with this, I need to go ahead and this on my text layer, I'm gonna go ahead and make that invisible. And I'm gonna go ahead and change this back to rendered. Okay. So now I have this is set to my text layer, and my text layer is invisible. So this has an extrusion depth on it, which is at point 20 right now. Uh, let's change it to point, point 40. Okay. 
so when I hit play what really should happen is it should explode there it is it explodes into bricks I don't know why I wouldn't play them before but it, it wasn't it just wasn't happening there he goes okay so you go here to force one and you change depth click on it and just put nine 9.00 now when you play I really don't know if it's if it's playing or doing anything now. I'm just gonna drag it out. You can see it doesn't it didn't do that now. Okay, so took care of that. Uh, if I want to change the size of this, I can change it under my text by right clicking, get a transform scale, and it'll change the size of the layer that's followed to it, or it's the layer that's matched to it, the layer, whatever. This layer is connected to this layer. <coughs> Alright, sorry. So now I have that taken care of. Now what I want to do is I want to add a camera. Uh, so I right click right here and go to new, which you can also do from up here, add a new layer, uh, and go to camera. And you want a two node camera. Camera one, 50 millimeter. It's pretty much what will come up anyway. So I added the camera and I'm going to go to back to my red solid and go down here to where it says textures and camera and I'm going to change the camera position to cam comp camera which is the comp that I'm just making the camera I assigned for that so I can go up here to unified camera and left click on that and move it around if I want to change the color, I can come up here and do it like that. And you have 3D text that you can change the color on the fly. Uh, you could add other effects to it. Mm. Let's just do it like this. Go up here to effects. Let's go to. Let's go to strobe light. Okay. So I have strobe. I'm going to change the color of the strobe to red. Uh, let's see. Operate some color. Makes layer transparent. <laughs> uh, you don't know till you start messing around with this stuff. But, anyways. Uh, yeah. That's pretty much what you can do uh, to make 3D text. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. And uh, I hope this was able to help. And we'll see you later.